a quick demonstration here on how to put together an NMR sample um, using uh, with a solid that you're trying to analyze as well as a liquid. So we've got here an NMR tube. And I'm just gonna use this ferrocene as a sort of sample just for kicks. So if we're making a, a <clears throat> NMR sample with a solid, one way that you can transfer that, that's probably the most effective, is these really thin spatulas that are actually kind of designed for NMR tubes. They have a little trough in them. If you get about that much, it's pretty easy to get it into the NMR tube, depending on how staticky or wet your solid is. So yeah, not all that went in there, it's okay. That again, about that much. So there we've got our tube. And kind of a rule of thumb is if you uh, want a nice concentrated sample, so you're trying to get like a carbon NMR, if you fill up the little kind of like dished portion, the bowl portion of the bottom of the NMR tube, which this is pretty well doing. So this would be enough sample for a um, a really good carbon or a proton. Um, if you have a little bit less sample than this, you'd still be okay for a proton, but they want about this much. So about two kind of scoops with that little spatula would be plenty of sample. <clears throat> so when we go to add solvent to this, um, I'm just gonna use regular C nitrile for demonstration purposes. Going about an inch worth or about two finger thicknesses, so I'm gonna drip some in here until I get about the right amount. So about that much. So you can see that's about two fingers. Or about it's a little probably a little over an inch, an inch and a quarter. Another trick that you can do with pipettes is if you don't have one of these fancy spatulas handy or something that fits into the pipette. You know, into the NMR tube, is you can take the pipette again and your solid compound, and if you kind of lightly tap it into the solid, it will pack some up in the tip. You can see it there. And then you can put that into the end of the NMR tube and just kind of give it a little shake and it will come out. Uh, you gotta just be careful not to pack that tip of that pipette up too much or you'll never be able to get it out it'll pack in there too tight and it won't come back out and then you can just kind of repeat that process kind of lightly packing some up into the tip and shaking it into your NMR tube add solvent to this about an inch worth or about two finger thicknesses so I'm gonna drip some in here until I get about the right amount so about that much so you can see that's about two fingers or about it's a little probably a little over an inch an inch and a quarter anyway, then we can put on a cap And if you can just invert your tube and get your compound to dissolve, that's great. If it doesn't dissolve, uh, you'll want to figure out a way to get that to dissolve as uh, samples with solid in them won't lock on the solid properly. They'll have issues getting a lock. Um, a sonicator can also help you to get a solid that's stubborn to dissolve. Um, that's why it's also a good idea to kind of test in advance the compound that you're putting in your solvent to make sure that it's soluble in the um, NMR solvent you're gonna be using. So sometimes just inverting a tube back and forth is enough to get your compound to dissolve. If you've got something that's kind of slow to dissolve or whatnot. You can also kind of tap it to get pieces to go down get the liquid to drip down, anyway. 
Another method for making an NMR sample, especially one that's in with liquid, is using um, a pipette. So just the tip of a pipette, dip it in the liquid that you're going to use, and then you can see the tip of the pipette fills up a little bit. It's showing up. Yeah, you can see maybe the lower half an inch, one centimeter or so of the type pipette tip is full. Um, you could also put a pipette bulb on the end of it now and kind of shoot it out if you, you know, you've got to be able to get the pipette bulb on there without losing your compound. So it might be better to do it like this, put it in the tube and then try to put the pipette bulb on. There. And we've got our liquid in there. And we can add our NMR solvent. Oh, and I've added too much now. So yeah, you see that's too much. It's really easy to go over. So you see, yeah, that's almost double what we need. So yeah, add it slowly and you won't go over. Um, 